Welcome to Epsilon News Science. Today, we focus on a man named Insignificant Panda, who has recently discovered a secret that Galileo has kept from us all those years ago. Is this secret a major threat to society, or is it just another big scientific discovery? Come with me to find out. Okay. So, Insignificant Panda, how did you find about, out about this secret? Um, it was a document written by Galileo, uh, once upon a time. And, uh, with that document, I found a secret code. And that code is what led me to discover the, um, actual secret. I see. Very interesting, Mr. Dramatic Pants. Um, so, can you tell me that secret? Oh, okay. Audience, everybody, prepare for a monumental moment in the history of science. Galileo's secret, discovered all those years ago, is... Doctors just take so long these days. I've been waiting here for like 30 minutes. Who's that? I'm Dr. Magical. I apologize for the delay. I had a tricky patient on the way out. I've taken care of him. I'll see you now. <gasps> you can come into the operating room with me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I have a license. I'm sure you've seen it. Enjoying your stay? Yeah. Be cooperative, kids. I got some bad news. Flesh out of chloroform. You're gonna have to do this while awake. I'll just take these pliers, yank out all those unnecessary organs. First, we have to make the decision. Here we go. Without further ado, the secret is... Ah! Oh, cram, cram, cram! Oh! Ah! Jeez, that hurts! Oh! Oh, oh my. Mm. I should, um... Try oh, my God, someone call 911! Uh, we'll, we'll be back in, um, five seconds. Sorry. We'll do this again. The secret is... Sorry, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. We'll be back in three seconds. Well, I'm sorry, someone seems to be messing with me today. Darn those teenage kids. I'll just be back tomorrow to reveal the secret, I guess. Well, and the secret is... Had to try. Oh well, see you tomorrow. Yesterday, our news program was unfortunately cut short, but today, I am going to tell you the secret that Galileo has kept from us. Nothing can stop me this time. Mwahaha! And the secret is... What? Something seems to be interrupting our program. Something's coming through from the other station. I had to We'll be back soon. Bye. Okay, after that interruption, finally, the secret is... Um, excuse me, uh, the secret is... Uh, why is this guy...
some of the construction workers that they can't. Be done in a second, sir. Just gotta get this carbon flour into the shank okay. tank. Please wait <coughs> while we uh construction will be finished. And the eagle says a bala bang bang shank. Yesterday, my colleague tried to reveal a secret that Galileo did not tell anybody. The secret is now known as Galileo's secret. And after many attempts, nobody has been able to successfully reveal the secret. And today, I'm here because I think I can reveal the secret. My colleague has called sick. And I know that today will be the day that you will hear Galileo's secret. And the secret is... Five or six. Yeah. You forgot to thrust the door in it. Okay. Okay, so that should be able to fit. What? Nothing. Nothing. So, um, the secret is, is so when the hi, I'm Mr. Flabberworm, and I'm here to demonstrate Mr. Flabberworm's sock cleaner material, whatever. Anyway, please, assistant, hand me a sock. Put the sock on the cutting board. Take some cinnamon. Sprinkle the cinnamon on the sock. Then, thank you. Take a meat hammer and hit it on. When you're done, you should have a sock that smells like. Never mind what it smells like. Just buy our product today. again, and I'm here to demonstrate my mouthwash. Hey y'all. Thank you. Today, you have to put this in your mouth, and so, you... Aww. Hey. And then, you take a meat hammer, sir, and there should be here. And take your, hit your tongue. I really do like meat hammers. And if you've done this all successfully, which is highly unlikely, you should have this that smells a lot better than a lot worse. We can't decide. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, finally. Okay. okay. The secret is it. It's it. Oh no! Ah! False alarm. False alarm. Okay, okay. The secret is lunch break. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm so hungry. So hungry. Oh, that was good. Hey, where's your partner? Um, uh, he he had to leave. Cough. I think it's not like a murder thing or anything. This spoon just, oh dear, is that blood? No, what do I have for lunch? Um, meat, soup, meat, soup, I think. God! Ah! Okay, here's the thing. I was arrested for murdering my partner. Luckily, the jail has allowed me to go on TV this one last time to just tell you the secret. So, I'm just going to try to do this simply, right now. The secret is, wait, how long until commercial break? Two minutes. 
Okay, cool, that's enough time. The secret is... The secret is. The secret is. The secret is. Okay. The secret is. No, it's just one of the commercials. Go. Hello. I'm Master Yogi Yoga. And today, I'm going to show you some of the very good products that Yogi Yoga Company has to offer. We have the product called the Ultimate Yogi Yoga Kit. This comes with one exercise ball or one inflatable latex sphere. This can be used for exciting exercises such as balancing. It can also be used for exercises such as sitting down and standing up again on an inflatable latex sphere. This also comes with Yogi Yoga, an easy to read manual. And a single Altoid. Let's demonstrate the functionality of Yogi Yoga, an easy to read manual. When you touch the manual, you are presented with the new manual. This has instructions on how to do every yoga move in the world. For example, Yum, outtoidy. It's like toothpaste. Anyway, it's okay. My shoes are over. That's good. Welcome to Good and Sir Time of Day here. And welcome to your holding cell. You have been brought here to divulge Galileo's secret. Please reveal the secret after the beep. Secret? That's what I want to do? Sure. I can die. The secret is to 
While you were asleep, I thought of a few fun facts. Fun fact one, you are no longer on planet Earth. Fun fact two, you will proceed directly to the behavior modification area. Fun fact three, the tomato is not a vegetable, it is a fruit. I, I, couldn't I just tell you the secret? Can I have another chance? I, I really wanna uh, tell the secret and leave. No, you will reveal the secret after behavior modification. Towards the door, it will open. Remember, we're watching you. being sedated. Breathe deeply. No. No, please. Why? <coughs> oh. cookies. Be right back. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm leaving. Ah! Who shoots? No, of course I haven't told him yet. Listen. The secret is the most important piece of information ever to exist. With it, we can rule the universe. And you expect this to stop us? Sure, he says, forget it. I'm leaving, but we'll have the secret by tomorrow. Wait, is this thing on? Oh, crap! Now we're just... Oh, dear, I suppose you've caught on to us. Well, I knew it would happen someday. The secret was actually discovered in 1963 by a professor at Epsilon Science. But there are reports of a strange cloaked figure trying to stop them from revealing the secret. Do you know what company you work for? Oh, I work for Epsilon The figure always said, I work for the IN and flashed an official looking badge. Eventually, everybody that knew the secret either died or mysteriously disappeared until it was rediscovered by your company 48 years later. Where am I? Well, I can't tell you that. I'm gonna hunt you down. You are dead. Oh, really? Oh, my God! Wait a minute. This is an alien planet. This 
the hotel. Nice for that. What, alien pirates can't have hotels? But, but, but you would just... Just tell me the secret, won't you? Yeah, I could tell you, but I have to tell you. Okay, that works. Uh -huh. Now comes the public. That won't be necessary. I've kidnapped dumbfounded octopus. I haven't decided on a ransom yet. How much is he worth to you? Hmm. I'll call back. Okay. I'm a government agent. We know you've your own death. Shh. That's enough. No. I don't want That should hold don't him. Don't leave me alone. Happened. Phone gonna ring. government wants to know Galileo's secret. Finally! Jeez! Hello? Hello, is this Insignificant Panda Industries? Yeah. I'm looking for one of those soft chairs that you don't really sink into and it's not like, it's not like it, the sofa is swallowing you. Eh? 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 Um, can I call you back in an hour because I'm I'm waiting for a ransom call. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, okay. Oh, is it? Could it be? Maybe. Hello? I've come to a decision. Excellent news. Recently, there have been reports of a serial killer posing as a government agent. It's nothing to worry about. She's only killed like seven people. And she may be part of something larger to kill a bunch of people, but nothing to worry about. See you tomorrow on Epsilon News. Hello, this is Epsilon News. Recently, there has been an alien walking around the streets of Washington, D.C. This alien has come from another planet, well, obviously, because he's an alien, and he's posing as a human, and he may be part of a huge plot to kill thousands of people. Who is this alien, and where will he strike next? Dreams. Dreams are important and magical. 
But what was he dreaming? What was he dreaming? Pandas and ponies unite! Yeah! That dream, however, was of no importance. What should I do? What should I pay? You must defeat the leader of Channel 6.3. Yes, him. Okay, that should not be too hard. I am a man of magical powers. What shall be your wish? Uh, what? Uh, I can't think of a wish. Any suggestions? Well, I offer many wishes, like flying and bulletproof on the 13th bullet. Um, you could also try, like, oh, you could switch places with someone. I don't care. I can't think of anybody. Anybody. I, I switch places with anybody. That's good. Okie dokie. know the secret too. Come with me. What? I am a man of magical powers. What will your wish be? Take me to the leader of Channel 6.3. Okie dokie. It's been four years. And what happened? When we left off, I was trapped in the alien's lair, and you were caught by the government in some kind of machine that extracted the secret. Panda was about to visit the alien, and all was nearly lost. Three organizations that would do anything for the secret. Torture, extraction, exploitation, and then it stopped. But what is the secret, and who really cares anyway? Everything that ever was, anything that is, is bottled here in this universe. But for years, the human race has been trying to make sense of it all this time. And Galileo did. He discovered why we exist and as a whole, who we are. He documented it in the last days before his tragic death. And everyone wants to know just what's going on. And our news agency has been working with the scientists that have interrupted Galileo's secret for years and have found the answer. 
Every time we try to reveal the secret, we cut to a commercial or get interrupted by some dance sequence. Cut the TV screen. Interrupted. Who's doing this, and how do they benefit? Well, think. Who can control this anyway? And whoever it is, wouldn't they want the secret to themselves? The TV network. Sir. Galileo Galilei was the smartest man alive. He discovered life's biggest secret, the meaning to living, and he encrypted it so it wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Those were powerful words, and he hoped they'd never be used for those who planned to use it for evil. He had hired a group of people to create a news agency called Epsilon News. They'd never actually reveal the secret. When people had finally decoded it, the time would be right, and they'd want to reveal it. And that's when we'd know the human race would be ready, and we are that team. So what's the big plan? Naturally, Galileo thought many groups would seek after the secret after this announcement. And that's what he needed. See, Galileo knew he was going to die many years before he did. When they killed him, he was ready. And the secret you know to be true, that's not the secret. There is none. The secret's just a decoy. But see, we preserved his body. The news of the secret spread all over the world. It was aired on countless programs like BBC World News and TMZ. See, Galileo knew that when humans had finally decoded the secret, it would be a futuristic world that he would want to live in. And across the entire world, everyone who wanted to know the secret would be thinking one word. Power is enough for just about anything. Galileo lives on! Hey guys, what I missed? And I'm feeling good. That was horrible. Did you understand it? No, did you? Not really. What's up next? Um, something called Edison's Secret. <laughs> <laughs>